to give you an idea, some things of reduction in general fund revenues for next year, for, for example, MFP, that's the minimum foundation program. That's the funding source from the state. We basically get money from the state, we get local revenue and some federal. I'm primarily focusing on general fund. That's what the lion's share of, of school board businesses operated from. Most employees are paid through the general fund. All right. And that's the one that's in trouble, the general okay. fund. Okay. MFP gets, that's the money that you get from state, and it's student driven. The more students you got, the more MFP you get. Mm -hmm. The more MFP dollars you get. Terrebonne Parish for the last several years has been in declining enrollment. Practically the whole state is, and, and don't ask me why, I don't know why. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's the explanation for that. People having, families having smaller families, I'm not sure what's the issue mm -hmm. with that. But as you decrease enrollment, you, you, you decrease the dollars you get from the state. Mm -hmm. we're, we're anticipating a $1.6 million decrease next year in the MFP. That's not an arbitrary cut from the state. That's a formula driven reduction. Right. I'm not blaming the state for that one. I got a lot of blame for the state later on, but right. that one is just a formula driven reduction. Okay. The state provided $344,000 for non-public school transportation. Cut it, it's gone. That's a lot of money just, yeah. just to be gone. Um, I mentioned the decrease in sales tax. We're, 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 we're 9.2 million projecting less than we thought we were going to collect. Anytime you do a budget, it's a projection. Mm -hmm. You know, we pretty much can project fairly closely our expens expenses and mm -hmm. can govern that and can regulate it. What we have a hard time governing is the revenues. Right. We can't control that. So this is a mid-year budget change. Yeah, we've had a lot of mid you know, the sales tax started going down, you know, went in the mm -hmm. tank and, it, and and it's it's going through the floor right. now. It's yeah. it's continuing so to So you decline. project your year out, but obviously in the middle of the year if things change, yep. you got to go back to the drawing table. And, and and what happens and that's exactly what's happened here. Mm -hmm. Very similar to the expenditures change that much because you plan it ahead of time and you say we're not spending more than that. Now what we what we started doing was even backing off, don't spend it. I mentioned some of those things earlier. Right. Section 16 revenues, that's, that's land that the school board owns and royalty that they collect from those revenues. We go, we're going to collect $608,000 less. Those are revenues, less revenue we're going to be getting. Not only is it a bad thing to get less revenue, but when you're also going to, when your expenses, Someone's piling the wagon with expenses on the mm -hmm. other end while you're losing it on revenue on one side and they're right. loading the wagon the other end with expenses. And I'll give you an example. Retirement. Mm -hmm. As an employer, we are each employee pays 8%. Whatever they make, 8% from their money goes to the retirement system. We put in 20%. It was right at 17%. It's gone up to almost 21%. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like a gigantic increase in percentage, but in dollars, it's right at five million dollars a year that we have no choice to pay. We can't say we pass, we don't want it. Right. Well, it's not an option. It's it's not a sort of mandated. Not sort of. It, it is. Mandated. It is absolutely yeah. mandated. Okay. It, we we have no option. We we have no choice with that. Um, National board certified stipends. It's a marvelous program. Mm -hmm. It's teachers who, who obtain uh, national board certification. Right. The state started the program some years back. Excellent, excellent, excellent program. The state provided a $5,000 $5, stipend to every teacher who was successful. Marvelous program. Mm -hmm. The state decided, we're going to keep the program, but we're not giving the 5000 anymore. Y'all got to pick it up, meaning every school district. Right. That's and you a, can't go to a teacher and say, we promised you $5,000, no. we're going to take it no, away. No. And actually, actually, the, even the law that established the National Board stipend, and I didn't discover this till, till I found out they cut it, mm -hmm. the law says, if you lose your funding, you still keep paying for it. Nobody paid any attention. You don't look for the, the, for the fire extinguisher until there's a fire. Mm -hmm. you, you know, no one paid any attention yeah. to that until they actually cut the funding. I'd say $400,000 price tag to Terrebonne Parish. But in, in fairness to you, and I've got to interject this at, at this point, 
fairness to you and the school board, the state is sort of cut and run on, on oh. some of these issues, and I don't want to let you take the blame for that, but what is the state saying? Are they hiding somewhere behind you know, us? You, you know, they're, they're, and I'm glad you phrased it that way. As I said last night, there's no one to blame for this financial situation. You can't point your finger and say it's that person's fault because sales tax are down 9.2 million. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's, it's not a local issue that was that any one person, it's not the school, the school board can't control that. Right. You know, the, 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 all they can control is their expenses and mm -hmm. they, they have to keep their expenses balanced with the revenues they have. But if the state is imploring y'all to start programs you know, and yeah. then fund it and then they pull back, the, then it leave you sort of holding the, the bag? The, it absolutely does. The accountability program, that the state has been in for quite some time. Fourth and eighth grade, high stakes test, high school GEE test. The state gave us $600,000 to run summer school. Kids who fail the test, go to summer school, get the opportunity to get remediation, help, retest, move on to the next grade. They've cut the 600,000, it's gone. Mm -hmm. We've got to pick it up. Or tell our kids we're not gonna do summer school, but well, we can't right. do that. Mm -hmm. we, we can't do that, that's, that would, that's just not, Educationally and and sound I think for kids. that's where some of the uneasiness with some of the teachers comes in. They don't know what we said the other day. We said reading, writing, and arithmetic, but we know it's English, math, science, and social studies, the core mm -hmm. subjects. Then you have other subjects outside the core subjects technology, business, arts, music, PE, developmental education, family consumer sciences, which used to be home, home ec. ec. To us, so and all the vocational courses, right? So the pecking order, if you as a superintendent, I guess the core, you got to keep the core. Mm -hmm. Any of the outside things going to be eliminated, or no, are you trying to keep that? No. The, the, the instructional program is going to be unscathed. Okay, good. It's, it's going to be unscathed. The high, we we are in the educational business. That is our top priority, and and. As I mentioned at the beginning of the program, we cut 80 positions last year in six million under the budget. Instructional program was unscathed. It will be again. Kids are, going to re can, are receiving a quality education in Terrebonne Parish and will continue. So the rumors that are circulating, and I've heard them this morning, that music is going to be going to this school or art's going to be going no. to this school. That's no. not happening. No, that's not going to happen. All right. Not going to happen. Okay. That's not going to happen.